the commands required for this experiment are node mcu board relay two pin connecting wires connecting cable and an led tube light now let's see the connection connect the negative wire from the tube light and a negative wire from the two pin together and connect both both the red wires one from the tube light and one from the two pin to the relay Now log in to the bling.cloud website. Then go to templates page and here click on new template. Give the template name. I am giving the name as smart tube light using ESP8266. And select the hardware type as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the done button. Now go to data streams. Select new data stream and select the digital pin. Here give any name for the pin and select the pin number as 4. Then click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag the switch widget. Then go to settings of this switch widget. Here we can select the data stream. Now click on the save button. Now save this template and go to the search button and select new device. Here click from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Select the template and then click the create button. Now we will get the template ID, template name and the authentication token. Copy this and paste in our program. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Here we declare the pin as D2. So that means we need to connect this to the pin number D2 in the node MCU board. But in the data stream, we need to select pin number 4. So that is based on the ESP8266 pin configuration. Now we can upload the program. For that, go to tools, select the board ESP8266 and then select the node MC 1.0. Then we need to select the port. And now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node mcu board now the program is uploaded successfully to the node mcu board now let's set up the blink mobile dashboard for that download the blink iot application from the play store now if you open the application we can see the template which we created on the blink web dashboard now click on the template go to the settings click the plus button and add the button widget. Then click on that button and you need to select the data stream. Here also we will see the same data stream which we selected on the Blink web dashboard. Click on that. Then select the button mode as switch. Now go back. Again go back. Now the setup is completed. Now we can check the output.